So this, this is Crestone Peak. Sits in the Sanger de Cristo's seventh highest spot in Colorado, or so we all thought. I'm in Seattle, Washington. This guy's name, Eric Gilbertson. He's smart, like studied engineering at MIT smart. A few weeks ago, he came to Colorado with some fancy equipment. It's kind of like a, like a GPS on your phone, but way more accurate. He and some other really smart guys hiked up with that fancy equipment, took this route, in fact, to see just how tall Crestone Peak's peak really is. But these are devices like construction crews will use, like surveying roads. And I'm just bringing them up mountains to survey mountains with really high accuracy. For a long time, the state and others have assumed this was the highest point. Something known as LIDAR data assisted in that assumption. LIDAR works by an airplane flying over the mountain. And the airplane knows really accurately where it is. And it bounces a light beam off the mountain. But LIDAR samples a point here and then a point there every few feet or so. Works fine if the peak is somewhat level, not as fine if the peak is more sharp. Here's where we're going to get even more nerdy. Crestone Peak has a sub-peak over here, about 400 feet away, known ingeniously as East Crestone. When Gilbertson broke out the fancy equipment on both, he found something surprising. Yeah, I found that East Crestone is 0.3 feet taller than Crestone. So what that means is only one of them would count as a ranked 14-er. 0. 0.3 feet, 4 inches, enough to make East Crestone the peak and Crestone Peak the sub-peak. Get it? Good. Gilbertson has done this sort of stuff all over the world. For a long time, Saudi Arabia assumed this mountain was its tallest spot. Discovered, well, this mountain, Jabal Farwa, that no one had ever heard of is actually the tallest in the country taller than Jabal Sada. He's now 177 peaks into this, helped figure out that Mount Rainier in Washington is actually 22 feet shorter now than it was in the 90s due to melting ice. And Mount St. Helens is losing three inches a year on its top due to erosion. If climbers climb a mountain because it's there, Gilbertson does this because he wants to know where there really is. So kind of like engineering science and mountaineering. They're all kind of my interests, and they all kind of intersect like on these problems. As for Crestone's new peak, don't worry if you've been doing it wrong. Just keep it in mind the next time, he'll say, with the kind of candor you'd expect from a really smart engineer. I mean, personally, I want to climb every 14er with as accurate of information as possible. This is accurate, like 99% accurate, he says. I think I'm going to trust him. Chris Vanderheen, 9 News.